When someone goes into cardiac arrest, every minute that passes without medical assistance reduces that person's survival by 10%. That's why St. John Ambulance is encouraging everyone to learn CPR and save a life. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is a combination of chest compressions to keep the heart beating and respirations to get oxygen to the lungs. Georgina McKinnon is a first aid instructor and trainer with St. John Ambulance, and she can't stress enough how important this skill is to learn. Well, it's important for people to know how to do CPR because those first uh, four to six minutes after a person uh, loses consciousness and stops breathing on their own. Um, it's vitally important to keep the oxygen-rich blood flowing in their system and uh, that keeps their cells alive, which increases their chance of bringing them back to life. Emergencies can occur at any time and in any place. Knowing how to do basic CPR can increase a person's chance of survival and it's not hard to do. CPR is a very easy skill. We teach it to uh, grade one students actually. If you can compress their chest and blow breaths into them, um, you are restoring what their body is not doing on its own. To do CPR, first you want to uh, determine that your casualty is unresponsive and not breathing. And uh, you want to attempt to ventilate or ventilate them and then compress their chest in order to uh, distribute that oxygen-rich blood throughout their system. There's optimal CPR, which is 30 compressions and two respirations. Um, however, if you forget the skills, to blow and to beat for people that aren't breathing and beating on their own is really what CPR is. So you can give optimal CPR, but just because you don't remember the numbers, um, doesn't mean that you're not going to help the person by breathing into them and compressing their chest. St. John Ambulance offers many different life-saving classes at all different levels. If you would like to learn CPR or any other life-saving skill, you can contact them at sja.ca or call them at 345-1712. As an instructor, I really do appreciate it and I enjoy it when my students leave my class and I can see that they are no longer afraid to jump in and do CPR to somebody and even better is bring in the automated external defibrillator. That's the one that people are afraid of. CPR keeps oxygen rich blood fl flowing and AED restores the electrical activity in the heart which is essentially what we're trying to do. For Go Thunder Bay, I'm Janice Gummison.